guys welcome back to my channel so if you obviously read from the title i'm gonna be doing a little vlog quarantine edition a day in my life if you are new to this channel hi welcome my name is victoria please make sure you subscribe i would really appreciate it so if you are curious and you want to know what i do during quarantine what i do to keep myself entertained go ahead and just please keep on watching so currently right now it is the morning so good morning guys it is currently 8 34 in the morning i actually been up since 5 15 since i've been going on morning walks i started you know working out during this quarantine which is something i've been needing to do actually been up for quite a while i woke up went on a walk with my mom i didn't want to vlog that because i didn't think it was like that's kind of boring so <laughs> like i literally just went for a morning walk and it felt so amazing so if you're wondering why i have no makeup and my hair is wet i literally just got out the shower i just wanted to start the vlog here because right now i'm just gonna you know do a little skincare put on some lotion and stuff like that and i'll show you guys the products that i use but other than that i mean So I live in Phoenix, Arizona, and it's been getting super hot, so it's kind of hard for me to want to go outside. Right now, it is actually 82 degrees outside, and it's pretty sunny. Around 3 p.m. is when it's going to go to 100 degrees, so it's kind of hard for me to either want to go outside or to actually, you know, go outside just in general. But here, we're not really on lockdown. Like, there's still stores open, like Target, Walmart is still open, Walgreens is still open, drive throughs are still open. So I've been doing that. Whenever I leave my house, I'm actually leaving to go get something, either groceries or food. Or I'm going to the dispensary. I'm not really sure what I'm going to get into today. I'm just going to vlog as I go, basically. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and just comb out my hair and show you guys a little quick skincare that I do normally so in the shower I cleanse my face I use this clean and clear here it's just an acne cleanser I've talked about this in previous videos I really like this this is just a new one I have another one in my shower but I went to Target yesterday oh speaking of that yeah I went to Target yesterday and I picked this up here and I actually picked up these deep cleansing pore strips I've seen these around a couple of times and I actually want to give this a try I don't know how it's gonna react with my piercing because i do have my nose pierced but i mean if it hurts you know whatever another thing i wanted to mention a future video that i'm going to be doing i have the bag right here i have a full bag here of nothing but elf products so if you're curious and you want to see that in a future video go ahead and please subscribe and be on the lookout for that video i'm actually really excited to do it because i feel like i got a good amount of pretty good products so i'm actually really excited anyway let's get into the skincare portion really quick in the morning the moisturizer that i use is this alamis pro collagen marine cream and i use this only in the morning but i just kind of like put it all over my face just to moisturize so i'm just gonna rub that into the skin please don't mind my skin it is acting crazy I'm not sure why my lips have been so chapped i've been breaking out like as you can see like i have this pimple like these two pimples right here and it's really really annoying but you know whatever shit happens but yeah so don't mind that and don't mind me getting really red i normally i'm like super light skin if you guys can't tell like i'm like really light skin so, so i get really red quickly but yeah so i've talked about this in previous videos as well this is one of my favorites this is from dr brand more baggage id puffing gel but i'm getting really low on that and i kind of want to conserve as much as i can to be honest so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna try a new eye cream that i haven't tried before and i actually heard of this brand but never tried anything from this brand i just got this with my points at sephora it was like a set of like four it's a wrinkle soothing eye cream it's really small i don't know how to pronounce that brand but that's the brand name right here i think they're japanese company i, I don't know i heard they're japanese i don't know <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and just i can't smell anything i'm gonna go ahead and try this out for the first time just to see like if i like it or not because if i don't i'm probably gonna throw it away but i'm gonna go ahead i don't even know how much to put or how much there's not even directions so i'm just gonna put that much i guess and just put it under my eyes oh yeah okay i do smell it now oh that actually smells pretty good i'll probably put it around my whole eye to be honest with you and sorry if i look stupid or crazy i'm just trying to not put it in my actual eye i don't know how this is going to perform or work but if i see a difference after a couple of uses then you know i'll probably 
recommend it or probably buy more i'm not sure i'm looking for a new eye cream i actually have another one from juice beauty that i got my boxy charm that i haven't used yet so i'm gonna put that to the test as well once i completely run out of eye cream from the dr brant but i'm gonna go ahead and comb out my hair now and for my brush i just use like this normal conair please excuse all the hair in here i haven't took out the hair but this is just a normal conair brush that i got from target you can find them literally anywhere Normally, I never blow dry my hair because I already put heat, you know, against my hair when I either straighten or curl it. So I try not to blow dry my hair. I normally, almost all the time, unless I'm in a hurry and I'm running late and I have to hurry up and take a shower and blow dry my hair because I have somewhere to be, then I'll blow dry it. But if I'm just chilling at the house or I'm going to go to sleep or I'm about to film, I literally wait till my hair gets dry or I wait till it's dry enough so when I by the time I start on my makeup it's kind of completely dry and then I could just dry it a little bit with the hair dryer but not like fully if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense but whatever <laughs> you guys I think you guys understand what I'm trying to say okay so now that my hair is completely combed out I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the oil that I used for my hair so I use this rose multi-use oil it's enriched with apricot oil and sweet almond oil and this is for your hair, nail, and body. And it just says, apply to the skin, hair, and nails as needed for moisturizer and shine. I've never used it on my skin or my nails. This one right here for my hair only. And I got this at Marshall's. And I believe I got this for like 7 or $6. I really don't remember. But a little bit goes a long way. I've had this like for months and I'm barely like right here. Juicy Jazz, one of my favorite YouTubers, recommended this one here. And she gets hers at TJ Maxx. And it's literally the same thing like you find the same products at marshall so i get the ends of my hair i put it on the tips and i put two to three drops and then i just rub it all together and if i get any on my hand i kind of just like run through my hair really quick stuff smells so good especially if you love rose scented stuff i think you guys would really enjoy this oil since it is rose and you can see the rose petals at the bottom so i think that's really really cool okay so now to moisturize my body jergens original scent this is the cherry almond and it looks like this this is my favorite lotion ever so i put it on my elbows and arms and all over my hands just rub it into the skin i mean you guys all know how to put on lotion i hope and i'm gonna go ahead and put some on my neck and then my legs okay guys so we are in my backyard it's really hot out here i don't know how long i'm gonna last out here but since i can't smoke in my house obviously i live with my mom and my little sister my little sister is a minor she's only 15 so my mom doesn't want me smoking in the house because of her and so normally i like to wake and bake before i eat breakfast just to start my day off with a little smoke sesh i'm gonna smoke a pre-roll here it's sativa it's called happiness this is one of my favorite pre-rolls ever so we're just gonna go ahead and spark this I believe my breakfast is almost ready, so I'm actually really, really excited to eat breakfast. <sighs> breakfast is like one of my favorite things to eat, especially if there's bacon involved. <sighs> times like this, I wish I could be able to smoke in my house, but that's why sometimes I just smoke in my car, even though I know I shouldn't, but sometimes it gets way too hot. And to be honest with you, I don't even know how I'm outside with my hair down. I mean, it's still a little wet from my shower, so. I should be okay. So right now, it's currently A54. So my mom made breakfast. We got hash browns, eggs, and my favorite, some bacon. And then, of course, I got milk. I love milk. Don't judge. So, yeah. We're going to eat some breakfast and watch TV. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and start doing my makeup. I'm going to do a really quick, simple makeup look. Kind of like an everyday, quick, easy, hopefully less than 10 minutes makeup look. This is kind of the routine I do, like, sometimes for work or, you know, just, like, if I'm going to go out to the store really quick or to the mall. I don't know, something like that. Just something really quick and simple and easy. So we're going to go ahead and start with that now. I'm going to go ahead and put my hair in a quick bun just to get it out my way. And to prime up my face, I'm going to go in with this Touch and Sew No Pore Bum Primer. 
it looks like this so i'm gonna go in with this primer here and i really like the consistency of this primer this is like my third time using it and so far i do enjoy it there's hair on me and i really like the way this primer smells so i'm gonna go ahead and just fill in my eyebrows really quickly i'm not gonna do them all crazy i'm not gonna conceal them or anything like that i just want to do something really quick and simple since i'm gonna be basically in the house all day today it's not like i'm going anywhere special so i just like to fill them in very quickly and i'm using the cella eyebrow cream in the shade taupe And I just fill in my eyebrows pretty quick. Like I said, I'm not going to do anything too dramatic. So I'm probably going to fast forward some of these parts just so I could hurry up and fill in my eyebrows. I'll go ahead and curl my eyelashes. Since I am breaking out, I'm going to go in with this Bella Pierre Pro Concealer. This is a color corrector. And I just get this brush here. It's a dual ended brush. I don't know where I got it. I think I got it at Target. It doesn't have a brand name or anything like that. But I basically put this on the areas where I am red. So I broke out with those two pimples right there. Which are really annoying. But you know. Gotta deal with it. And then I just get like a beauty blender. And kind of just blend that out. Concealer I'm going to go in is with this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is in the shade Fair. Looks like this. I think this is broken, so I'm not sure why it's not working. But I've used this a couple times. Basically, just conceal with that. And then, instead of me going all the way to the bathroom, I just spray my beauty sponge. And then, I'm going to start blending. Totally forgot. I normally put concealer on my eyelid so I could just prime my eyelids really quick all in one. I don't really use primer for this makeup look that I'm doing. So now that I'm done blending everything out, for powder and bronzer, we're going to go in with this Heart Park App Princess Chiseled Palette. I really, really like this palette so, so much as you can see. I use this palette for quick, easy looks like this. So I'm just using this Luxie Tapered Highlighter Brush in 522. It looks like this. And I'm going to go in with the two lightest shades in this palette. So these two right here that I obviously hit pan on. And I just like to use this as my powder and go over all the areas that I put that concealer. And then from bronzer, I'm going to go in with these two browns here with this Morphe angled brush. I'm also going to take this JS5 brush and I'm going to go in with these two browns as well that I use for my bronzer. And I'm just going to put this in the crease. So now for blush, one of my favorite blushes ever is from Milani. This is in the shade Luminoso and it looks like this. And I just use this Luxie 516 Dual Fiber Powder Brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with this Iconic London Prep Set and Glow Water Mist. So for highlight, I'm going to go in with this Pure sculpture palette this is a bronzer and highlighting palette it looks like this i'm gonna go in with these two shades here for that i'm just gonna use this moda brush it doesn't have like a number or anything but i'm gonna go ahead and spray my brush with the iconic london and then dip into those two highlighting and then just highlight my face this highlighter is really pretty. I really, really like this highlighter. It's super pretty. 
And for my eyelids, I'm actually going to go in with, with this Ace Butte Glitter Single Shadow. And this is in the shade Ice Latte. I'm going to just take this little Luxie brush here. And I'm just going to dip into this. So it just looks something like that. Very cute, very simple. I'm going to go in back with that brush and kind of just blend the bronzer out with the brown shade. And then next, I'm going to use this vintage okay, eye pencil in black. I really like this eye pencil a lot. And I'm going to use this for my eyelash, upper eyelash line right here. I'm going to go in with mascara. And the mascara I'm going to use is from Tarte. This is the Big Eagle Mascara. Then I'm going to get this angled brush here from Vintage. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and dip into the lightest brown in this palette here, which is this top one. I'm just going to dip into there a really little bit and run that over the lower lash line. My mascara. So this is the completed little makeup looks. It's very quick, simple, and easy. Nothing too crazy, nothing dramatic. So yeah. Other than that, I'm just going to put on some lip shine that I recommend from Bath & Body Works that I always talk about. And the look will be completed. Okay, so me and my little sister came to Walmart just to get out the house and we need more groceries. And what else are we getting? Get the list. My mom made us a list and I'd rather go, I'd rather have me go oh, than my so mom. Sure. Oh, so here's the list. It's pretty short, but it's hella packed and I hate Walmart. Love Target way better, even though we were just there yesterday. Hopefully this goes good. We don't have any masks. I mean, I do have a mask, but I didn't bring it. I don't know why, but anyway, that's besides the point. So yeah, wish us luck. And if we could record in there, can we record in there? I don't know if we, if we can, I'll record like what shit I get, I guess. Not everything, but just like an overview. So basically that is all that we have so far. Mainly breakfast stuff and some candy and ice cream. And Walmart isn't as packed as I thought, so that's a good thing. So here is my afternoon snack. Some peanut butter and apples with some water. Okay, so now I am editing some YouTube videos and IGTV videos. Normally I am filming instead of editing, but today I'm doing both. So I'm just sitting here in front of my computer editing this video right here and this is just an Apple desktop and yeah I'm just gonna edit this video and I'm probably gonna take a nap when I'm done editing because it's already what time is it Elissa? So it is currently what time? 6.21 and me and my mom are chilling. I didn't record you I got like your body. <laughs> <laughs> well, like half of your body and my mom is grilling some hamburgers Which I'm so excited about e. And it's hot outside how, how hot is it outside right now? Mm, it is 99 99 outside and the Sun is barely going down kind of So here is the final product Ketchup and I got a plain burger with bacon, cause I love bacon. With some chips and water. Okay guys, so sorry my makeup looks like shit. I actually took a nap earlier before I ate dinner, but I enjoyed my hamburger. It was super good. Then after that, I just watched a movie with my little sister. Yeah guys, so this is basically the end of the video. So it is currently 9.04 p.m., which is getting close to my bedtime. I do try to go to sleep early. On days I have to work the next day which I do work tomorrow I work from home but I do have to wake up extra early not only for work but to go on my morning walk that I've been doing with my mom recently which I'm really getting into I'm hella sore but it's something I've been needing to do so if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more vlogs like this go ahead and give me a big thumbs up go ahead and leave some comments down below show me some love I really do appreciate it and please don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel and if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video, go ahead and click that bell next to the subscribe button. And other than that, I really hope to see you guys in my next video. And thank you for watching. Bye, guys.